Hello my friends, Teresa Louise here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a project bag. I've had several people um, request this again to do it live and so here we are. I do have a live video making this already but um, I'm happy to make it again. Not a problem. So let me see if we have anybody here yet. <clears throat> Today is Sunday. September 4th, uh, it's 2 p.m. my time, Pacific Standard Time. And hi, Gwenny. Hi, Melina. How's it going? I think I pronounce your name different every time. I'm sorry about that. Uh, and um, yeah, where was I? I always forget where I am in my speech once I start talking. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you to thank you for joining me today and uh, for Sunday so and chat. So hi Kay, hi Deborah, hello Donna, hi Mary. Maybe if you um, write in the next to your name, if you write um, how it's pronounced, you know, <laughs> maybe I'll I'll do better next time. She said that's okay, but. I hate pronouncing it wrong every time. Hi, Tracy. Hello, Chris. Hello, Donna. Hi, Heather. And if you guys don't know yet, um, Heather has um, started a new channel. It's called The Debt Free Quilter. She's in the chat there. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Jeanette. And so, <laughs> I did something really funny. Okay, I thought I was doing really good yesterday. Okay, I scheduled this video. And when I do that, I have to schedule it on my cell phone that I'm using right now. And then I mark it unlisted. And then I save it. And um, once you mark it unlisted, nobody can see it but, but me, right? So then I go, I have to go down to my laptop and um, make whatever changes and all that that I need to make. And in the description box, I put all of the supplies that you will need for today's project, the project bag. And... Um, I scheduled it for two o'clock for today. You know, I was so proud of myself. I saved everything. And then I posted that link over on Facebook and I put the um, supp uh, supply list in the Facebook group. And boy, I was just really proud of myself. Okay, so then I come upstairs today <laughs> and I'm getting ready to come on and I'm like, uh, where's my video? It didn't cut my, you know, it should be available fi at least 15 minutes before, you know, it's time to go live. Usually it's a half hour, but 15 minutes. So it's not there. So I'm like, oh no, I forgot to change it from unlisted to public. <laughs> so I had to run downstairs bring up my laptop because I can't do it on the cell phone there and fix it really quick and make it public. <laughs> I was like, no wonder nobody was waiting. And this all five minutes before I was ready to go live. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so I tried. <laughs> I tried to get it to go right, but hi, Maureen. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Dela. Hi, Ella. How are you doing? <laughs> she put in a little happy wave girl. <laughs> Those are so cute. Um, let's see. Yeah, and I'm really tired. Hi, Donna. Really tired today. <laughs> um, Handmade by Ying with Donna is in the chat and she has a channel and um, we were, it was nine o'clock my time, so 12 o'clock her time, p.m. and they were making a Bargello quilt 
I was getting my stuff ready, but um, I was on there. Had a lot of fun, but I sure was tired by the end of the night. And then, you know, I thought I would just go straight to sleep, right? And uh, no, I was laid in bed, wide awake until three o'clock in the morning. And then I finally fell asleep. <laughs> so I didn't get up till 9 a.m. this morning. Hello, Vicki. Yeah, I was over on Mom and Pops a little bit ago watching Pop put together that computer, which is way over my head now. It's hard to believe that I used to do all that kind of stuff, but I quit back in 1995 and things have, oh my God, things have changed so much that, like he was talking about Raspberry Pi. I have no clue, you know, I mean, to me, a Raspberry is something you eat and has nothing to do with a computer but <laughs> some of you in the chat might know what that is I have no clue <laughs> hi Kathy hi Kathleen everybody's just saying hi to everybody hi um, Sheila hi Brenda I am a party beast that's me. <laughs> I think it was that cake I had, at, you know, eating chocolate cake at 10 o'clock at night. I think that's what kept me awake. Hi, Laura. Oh, your tariff? Oh, zippers are easy in this project anyway. You'll do fine. Now, zippers and a pair of pants. Hmm. I, I tried that once uh, back in school in home ec. And, oh, boy, I had a heck of a time. I had to have my mom help me. <laughs> Shelly Clark said, we are up late. 11, our time. Hi, Stephanie. How are you doing? Stephanie, uh, Mem Memoirs of a Long Arm Quilter. She has a channel. Kathy's Quilts and Crafts also has a channel. Hi, Linda. And let's see who else we have. Hi, Patty. Doing okay. It's pretty smoky here today, but um, making my throat kind of scratchy. Mary's, hi, Mary. Mary says, I don't understand how it works. My son uses Raspberry Pi all the time. He has more than one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Laura said, I don't sew clothes, quilts only. Yeah, uh, the most I do anymore is um, aprons. And then every now and then, like I've made my husband a shirt, but it was made out of leather, like a deer hide. <laughs> really soft. I think I showed that to you guys once. Hello, Vicki. Yeah, mom's bag, uh, Laura Lynn, her bag, with that was really cute. Okay, I'm all caught up. So let's see, we're about eight after. We'll just, I'll just visit for a few more minutes. Give um, some more people some time to get in here. Hi, Cindy. And, um, oh, did I miss Terry? Yep, there's Terry. Hi, Terry. That. Is that light going to bother you guys up there? I'm going to probably move this camera down in a little bit anyway, so there we go. Um, in fact, it'll be viewing this area a little bit more. So, hi Beverly. Terry said, it's okay. Thank you, Terry, for answering that question. I was able to take a shower this morning. That was all awesome. So I fixed my hair. What do you think? <laughs> it's nice and clean. I don't have it pulled back. I even put on a little bit of makeup for you guys today. Just so I would look alive. <laughs> Tracy said, that's better. A little less glare. Okay, thank you. Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Woke up at 5.30 a.m. to see 
you all so then couldn't get back to sleep <laughs> have had a busy day so now she's just chilling awesome i love chilling i like to try and chill on sunday i just do the basic house cleaning you know like dishes stuff like that but uh I give myself the rest of the day off on Sunday, except for sewing with you guys. <laughs> Thanks for the shower. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I get you. See how quick I can forget? <laughs> You're welcome. I, I didn't want, you know, you guys smelling me from there, you know. It was time. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy said, I'm looking good. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. Sheila said, you look nice. Hi, Faith. She said, you look lovely, my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> House cleaning. We still supposed to do that? Well, only if you want to now. Hi, Linda. You almost forgot. Well, I'm glad you made it. Yay. Brenda says, you look marvelous, darling. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. See, I have to hunt for, you know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> smell a vision <laughs> she said you always look pretty that's from Donna well thanks Donna sure you can quote me <laughs> when it comes to house cleaning okay let's get started so um if you want to, you can, yeah, my neck's kind of hurting, um, close your chat and look under the, in the description box, and I give you all the supplies there. You can write those down if you want, um, or you can write them down while I'm telling you. Basically, you're going to need three fat quarters, at least, but you can use four if you want, more contrasting colors in your project. Um, so the project is this project bag, okay, and mine has a vinyl pocket, and then it has a pocket on the inside that is closed by a zipper. My vinyl pocket doesn't, you know, stay closed, <laughs> but I have never really had any problem with stuff falling out, but um, basically I do this vinyl pocket because I like to put my patterns on the outside of the bag um, and that way I can see what's inside without ha having to open each one which is a really pain and you know what um, I use these for cross stitch but you can also use them for quilting projects for your different blocks um, and you know you can put the pattern there for that for your quilt or you know uh, also I was thinking you could use it for um, if you do hand piecing you can it could be a project bag for your little hexes or whatever you know I mean there's all kinds of things you could do now some people put a handle on them um, and I did at the beginning but I don't really use that handle so I quit putting the handle on, but you could put a handle on there if you want to, and I'll talk more about that as we're going. Okay, so this basically is the project, and um, I'll set that aside. Okay, so three, at least three fat quarters, but like I said, if you want more contrast fabric, then you could use a fourth, or if you have some scraps that you want to use up, you know, this is a great scrap busting project also. Um, you're going to need a piece of batting, 
that is, um, you know, at least 15 by 21. Or if you don't want to use batting, you could use stabilizer, you know, SF 101 would be a good stabilizer. It wouldn't make it as stiff as this is, but um, it would stabilize the fabric a little bit more. Um, then you're also going to need a zipper. And um, I think this one is about 18, but you want it at least 16 inches. Although the zipper pocket is only 14 inches, so if you're really careful, you could use a 14 inch. Um, and if you uh, if you don't want quite as big of an opening, you might be able to get away with the 12 inch. I don't know, but 14 inch at least. And then you're going to need a piece of vinyl. Now, if you don't have vinyl, um, you can just skip that part. Uh, but I would start out with like a piece of a vinyl that is about 10 by 14. No, you can't. That doesn't. That doesn't help. <laughs> it's clear. Ooh, piece of vinyl. Okay. Then the other things that are helpful. Rotary cutter. Cutting mat. Uh, I, I like to use a marking tool, and um, this is one of those uh, friction pins that um, iron off. Some people don't like using those, so use whatever you like. And then, of course, a pair of scissors. Uh, I like to have some binder clips, or, you know, these wonder clips. Um, because you can't use pens with vinyl. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll have holes all over in your vinyl, and that's not good. Okay, uh, and then, of course, the sewing machine and thread and all those things. Okay. So that's basically what you need. Hi, Sean. That's moldy lasagna. It says... They're here uh, making a cheesecake in the background. Ooh, yum. I want some. I love sweets. I was thinking earlier today, I really need to cut back <laughs> on the amount of sweets I eat. Really eat way too many. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not diabetic because that would just drive me crazy not be able to eat chocolate and cake and ice cream and <laughs> all the good stuff. Enjoy it now, just in case, right? Hi, Carissa. Yeah, exactly, Faith. She said, cheesecake, when do we eat? Oh, awesome. Sheila said she went to Joanne's and bought some of their vinyl. It was $3.99 a yard. Not real good quality, but I think it will do for this project. Cool. Um, hi, Carrie. Uh, Tracy said, if you want stiffer but without batting, you could use medium interfacing SF, like Sam Frank, 809. Or Decoville, I'm not, Decoville Light, I'm not sure if that, I pronounced that right, but it's uh, D-E-C-O-V-I-L. Uh, yeah, you could use fusible fleece. You betcha. Yep. Hi, Kim. How are you doing? Good to see you. Maureen says, I'm glad you're doing this project. I bought all the supplies before COVID. I will watch now and find my supplies and get on it. Awesome. It's a fun project. Uh, Stephanie says, I'm still here just concentrating on the project. Okay. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm just going to look for questions. And let's see. Hi, Pat. 
from Ontario, uh, Canada. Awesome. Thank you. And Mary did I? Hello. Probably didn't pronounce that right. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't see. I Mary. That's Kev Mirth. Okay, you glad you're here. Is the Pioneer Woman fabric a decent quality? You know, I think so. Um, she's pretty popular. I can't imagine it not being. Do you know who makes it for her? Maybe somebody can answer that. Joanne's vinyl was, oh, I think it's eight gauge. So I think it... Um, Tells you how thick it is, Sheila. Just woke up from a short nap, says Kim. Lucky you, <laughs> Kim. <laughs> well, I didn't get up until 9 o'clock this morning, so. Hi, June. Oh, okay, I like Zitai. Thanks, Mary. I hope that was right. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Good to see you. Making a project bag. Hi, Laura Miller. Uh, she said eight gauge vinyl is like a middle thickness, which is what about what I think I'm using. So, okay. Switch into the TV so I can sew as you instruct. You're welcome, Donna. Good to see, okay, all right, we're ready. So, let me just put this down a little bit. I'm gonna get another drink of water too. I brought in a big glass of water. <laughs> As I knew I was gonna need it today. Okay, so what I do is you wanna pick what your outside of your project bag is going to be with one of your fat quarters and then the inside of the project bag now I normally like the inside of my bags to be on the lighter side but that's totally up to you so that's that one and then I have a piece of batting here in between and then I'm just lining them up Okay, now uh, what I did do is um, my, uh, this for the inside fat quarter, I actually went ahead and cut that down a little bit. I gave myself about an inch on all sides, but if you need uh, more room, you know, uh, when you're quilting this, go ahead and leave it bigger, but um I've done it so much that I just went ahead and cut it down, but definitely don't have to do that because we're going to trim this all up after we get done sewing it together. Now, if you use some sort of fusible, like fusible fleece or something, or you can even use fusible batting, you might not necessarily need to um, quilt this, but... Um, I would anyway, and actually, I don't know if you can put this project bag in the washing machine because of the vinyl, but you know what? I might try that one of these days <laughs> and see what happens. If you didn't have vinyl on there, yeah, you could throw it in there, and then you definitely would want it quilted. So you can either, at this point, decide whether or not you want to do free motion quilting this down or maybe just straight line I just do straight line and I usually start right in the middle and I will take this is where the friction pin comes in handy and a ruler and I just kind of it doesn't have to be perfect you know I'll just line it up and draw if I don't have lines when I'm sewing, I don't really sew straight, so I like to have some lines. 
and then I you decide how far apart you want your lines um, I'm always in a hurry so I like to do like three inches apart so I just line that up on my line there my rulers backwards and um, at the three inch mark and then I would draw another line and then just keep on doing that all the way down and up and then down and up all your lines and then I'll do the same thing here now I can use my lines to kind of square myself up and I'll make another line all the way across and then go two or three inches okay um, I do three inches because I'm in a hurry I don't want to do if I did two inches then it would take me longer <laughs> to quilt it so I'd make all my lines and then I like to start in the middle and go out um, because it tends to pucker you know sometimes and get kind of wrinkly so if I start in the middle it's a lot more starts starts and stops but you can start at the edge and work your way down if you want to but still kind of stay right in the middle first and then work your way out um, that's the same thing what you do if you're going to do free motion quilting as you start in the middle and work work your way out but I'm not going to do a free motion demonstration because that's not what this is about today <laughs> But, you know, I was thinking as I was getting these ready, what the next time I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a whole bunch of fat quarters together and then pick a backing that's going to be the same inside for all of them and then put them on my long arm <laughs> and then I can just cut them apart. You know, make it like a quilt and then just bring it over here and cut them all apart and then make them into project bags. That would be so much faster. <laughs> Okay, so get to sewing, sew those down. Any questions on that part? Hi, Jackie. How are you doing? Hi, uh, Sandra. Saying hello to Vicki. Um, Faith Beverly. June. Amy. <laughs> Nellie. Hi, Nellie. <laughs> no vodka. It's too early for vodka, Heather. Although, if you'd asked me eight years ago, it was never too early for vodka. <laughs> but I quit that habit. And that wasn't easy. <laughs> vodka was my friend. My pain reliever. <laughs> Hi, June Billings. Yeah, I wouldn't put it in the dryer. That's a good point, Vicki, especially with the vinyl. Oh, you could do a mesh pocket. And then it would be totally washable. Good idea, Laura. I like that. Okay. Okay, um, great, Mary. Thank you. She said... She's washed bags with vinyl in a net, ba net bag on gentle, delicate, warm, no dryer. Good to know. Um, I think Patty might be, I think Patty's making her bags like she went off of my video, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe she'll answer that somewhere. Um, but I've never put a vinyl shower curtain in the washing machine, though. So, I don't know. I put it in the bathtub <laughs> with soap and water and bleach and scrubbed them, but... I know. Me too, Brenda. She said, la um, sewing late last night kicked her butt. <laughs> huh. Terry said she 
washes her plastic shower curtains and then line dries them. Oh, I've never tried that. Um, the bag, uh, Carissa wants to know how big is the bag going to end up? Typically, they end up 11 by 14, which just is about the right size for a pattern. That's why I'm making this. Now, it's it could end up being a little bit bigger or smaller depending on how much you have to trim up. But basically, that's the size. Um, no, you want, I, it will be after you trim it up. So for now, while you are, before, because you got to uh, free motion quilt it or you need to sew it up. Because of the movement when you're sewing, sometimes they get a little wonky. So I find if I just keep that bat, my uh, one of the fabrics a little bit bigger and the batting a little bit bitter, bigger than when I'm sewing it, as I get that shrinkage, it'll be okay. But um, the, the one on the top is cut at 14 by 20. I don't know if I said that. And then the one on the bottom is just an inch bigger, at least, all the way around. So 15 by 21. Hi, Scrunchy. How's it going? We're just getting start started, Becca. So it's all good. Okay, I'm looking for any questions. Yay, Teresa, for your success. I do know it's never easy. She must be talking about quitting drinking. <laughs> that was, I drank for a lot of years, so yeah, it was pretty hard to quit. I thought about it for, you know, every day for a year and a, over a year that I wanted to drink, but I didn't let myself. <laughs> and now it's okay. It's been like six, seven years now. Hi, Tiffany. And sometimes I think, oh, a, be a cold beer sounds really good. And so we'll go get a couple of cold beers and I can only drink about <laughs> that much of it. And I'm like, ew, I'm a cheap date now. And then I go right back to not drinking, so. Alrighty. Hi, Ginger. Oh, really? She said her vinyl shower curtain is in the washer right now. Huh, I just did not know you could do that. Okay, I don't see... Hi, Marie. Oh, awesome, JB. Cool. You're not late. Hi, Carol. How you doing? Okay, so if you have a question, tag me or have one of the moderators get my attention. Well, you can uh, make this bigger. Yeah, well, I would I would probably make a bigger project bag for that. But you can enlarge this. Easy to do. Great, Vicky. Oh, you can. Jackie said you can buy washable vinyl from Pillon. I did not know that. Okay, looks like a lot of people know that you can wash vinyl. <laughs> okay, so get to sewing. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Sew that down. I'm going to sew mine. Ta-da! <laughs> mine is sewn. Yay! 
How'd you like that? Okay, so while you are sewing that, now this one I did, I did a cross thing, and uh, I still had black thread in my sewing machine in purple, and so the first thread is dark on the inside, but that's okay. It's going to be on the inside. <laughs> and then I have another one ready too, and I did the squares, so... While you're doing that, I will tell you what what you're going to do with your strips. I tried to prep so I wasn't taking so long on doing the that kind of, you know, sewing sewing that down. Okay, so on your let me get my Heather's going to quit ice cream. Oh, yeah. You know, they have a raspberry, white chocolate raspberry from Tillamook ice cream. Oh, my God. And then you take some chocolate syrup and you put a little bit of that on top. <laughs> I really, <laughs> I got to quit buying that stuff. It's really good. Okay. So, you should have cut out of your um, one of your fat quarters you needed one 4 by 14 one piece at two and a half by 14 one piece at two by 14 you can go ahead and make that one two and a half if you want to um, but two by 14 and that's for the vinyl and then um, by four to five strips of two and a half by 18 for the binding. Um, but what I do is, like I will take my fat quarter and I will cut out five of the binding strips first and then use the rest of it for the smaller strips. Okay, so if you're going to do the whole length for a binding strip, you're probably only going to need four. And then cut out the rest from that fat quarter. Okay, and then, okay, well you can always watch the replay if you want to and make one. Thanks, Amy, for tagging me. See when, see the way Amy C. wrote my name out? She did at Teresa Louise. I quilt too. Um, so when, she, when you type it that way, for me, it turns orange. It doesn't turn any color for you guys. But for me, it turns orange, and that, cat, that catches my attention. And so that's awesome. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, 16 by 18 is a good idea for uh, large quilt blocks. The Winco plant burned down, so they're out of a lot of ice cream. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay. So the piece, here's what we're going to do, iron, the piece that is 4 by 14, this one, 4 inches by 14, you're going to iron it in half, okay, then after you get it in half, you're going to open it up, fold the end, the salvage or the raw edge in to the middle, and press that. And you're going to do that on both sides. Fold those, iron that in, 
and then close it up so you don't have any uh, raw edges but you do have an opening right and then press that down really good okay that's going to be part of the zipper and then the one that is two and a half by 14 you're going to just two and a half by 14 just press it in half long ways just once and this is part of the zipper also and the top of the bag okay then the one that is 2 by 14, you're going to do the same thing you did with the 4 and by 14. Fold it in half, press it, and then bring your fabric in towards the middle, right along the, the line that you just made, and press those. And that way your raw edge are, is inside. There you go. Nice and small. And this is the piece that you're going to sew onto your vinyl. Okay. All right. So you should have three pieces pressed. And then here's your zipper. Now... Oh, cool, Laura. Hi, hi, Laura. How are you doing? She said, I bought the giant bag of rice to make the heat press bag you made. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. Oh, Katie fell asleep in front of her laptop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I really, uh, Amy said, I really do like that size. When I take my block of the month to my local quilt shop to get my next block, it has room for any purchases I make unless I go crazy and buy a bunch of large cuts. Okay, let's see. She was talking to Maureen. And what size was that? Um, 16 by 18. That would be a good size. But you can adjust this. So, okay, how are you guys doing? Where are you at in the process? You want me to wait a little bit before I get going on the zipper, or are you ready for the zipper? I still have a whole bunch of brown rice. <laughs> I really wish I could find a good recipe for brown rice, because I know it's good for you. Anybody have a good recipe for making brown rice? Let me know. Hi, Nelly. How are you doing? Wait, please, five minutes. Okay. Since I'm going to wait, I'm going to go ahead and sew up that other project bag. I'll just set this, do the free motion quilting thing on it. Get part of it done anyway. We got plenty of time, you know, two hours. We should be able to get one project bag done in two hours. <laughs> I hope. And really, once you get learn this, it goes pretty fast, you know. Willow baby, honey, you're going to have to... Oh, I'm glad I stood up. Okay, let's stand up for a minute. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, you're going to have to get out of my way. Good girl. Thank you. I get good girl. Yeah, I get good girl. Okay. Make sure I'm still lined up. One of the other things I do, um, I mean, you can use uh, that. I think it's called 505 adhesive, you know, and tack that down, but I use, sometimes I just use spray starch, and I spray the starch on my batting, and that kind of holds that, and I do it on both sides of the, both fabrics, and that kind of holds that in, in place a little better. 
or you can actually you know pin pin the ends okay hey faith let's see i use brown rice in the rice casserole chicken oh that sounds good there's no good recipe for brown rice <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I guess that's a, another one that doesn't like brown rice. I love rice, uh, white rice. Yeah, I do love white rice. Um, real rice, not, I don't mind minute rice, but it's not my favorite. Um, I like jasmine rice. That's my favorite. Oh, thank you, Patty, for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Hi, Kelly. Um, let's see. Okay, Jackie said, I add a can of corn, um, a can of black beans to the rice, salsa to taste, I usually add about eight ounces of salsa. Oh, so that's kind of like a Mexican rice. That sounds good. I made a really good um, soup yesterday. JB says, yes, jasmine rice and white rice. Mary said, I love jasmine rice. That's all I eat. <laughs> I like putting my that rice in the rice maker or the cooker, you know, and then I add, um, before I put the rice in, I let the water kind of heat up a little bit and I put um, about a tablespoon of butter um, and then about maybe a teaspoon of crushed garlic in there, mix it around. And then if I'm making um, one cup of rice, which usually turns into like two by the time it cooks, um, I put in a, a chicken flavoring and then I let all that cook. Oh God, that's so good. <laughs> I use jasmine rice when I make steak and rice. I haven't tried that rice, Kelly. I don't know what it, the difference is between it and white rice is, Linda, but it sure is good. It just cooks up really nice. I make a gravy out of cream of chicken soup and olive oil and garlic. It's scrumptious. <laughs> you know what sounds good is uh, sausage gravy and biscuits. That sounds good. Okay, here we go. Now, usually, okay, I am on four. Um, when I'm doing this sewing, I usually change my stitch length to four. And uh, that makes it go real fast too. Jasmine rice has a little bit of a flower smell, does it? I don't know if I noticed that before well i don't know i know that it's good <laughs> when you find something you like then keep buying it if you can and i bought it years ago kind of um by accident and i like to press as i go because i don't know why but my seam likes to pucker 
So I'm just going to press that seam out. Okay, there's that one. I like long grain rice the best. Oh, you need to add some milk, not too much, just to get the consistency that you like. Oh, I never added milk. Oh, are you mean to the your, not to the rice, no. <laughs> A lot of conversation going on about food in there. It's going to start making me hungry. Okay, I feel like... Oh, I didn't finish drawing my lines on here. Okay, Donna, let me know when, you, when you're ready. Okay, Donna said she's finished and ready, babe. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring that camera up a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. And let's see. No, I guess I'll leave you there. No, I didn't use fusible batting. I just used regular, but you can use fusible batting. In fact, I think it would be easier, but you're still going to need to make some um, stitching, you know, stitching the two, all the three together, I think. At least I would. Um, but it does, fusible batting does make it better so everything stays lined up. Okay, so after you get your project, your sandwich, all sewn down, you're going to want to trim that up. And you want to trim it up to be um, 14 by 20 if you can or longer let's see what this one no it, this one says 20 but if you, you can do it um, 21 or if you don't have enough you could do it 19 or 18 your bag is just going to be a little bit different so mine is 14 by 20 so I trim that up to that okay so go ahead and trim that up Yeah, I would quilt it too. As I talked about that earlier, JB. I would actually <laughs> quilt it with a long arm. <laughs> a bunch of them. Get a whole bunch done. Okay. Let me bring you up closer. Do this. Go ahead and get up and stretch if you need to. Oops. Oh. Sorry guys, my uh, plugged in. Plugged into power. Point that down a little bit. Okay, a little more down. Okay, how's that? I have two jukies, long arm a dream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, I quilted forever on my uh, brother's so. But, you know, I don't do free motion quilting on my brother's very much anymore. Kim says good. Thank you, Kim, because I have the long arm, you know, I make that work. Okay, so you have pressed all your pieces. This uh, 2 by 14 is for the vinyl, so just set that aside. Move that over there. 
All right, here's your zipper. Now, depending on how you want this to open, I like mine to, my zip to be on the left-hand side um, because I like that's how I like mine to open, from left to right. But if you're left-handed, maybe you want your zip to open from the left to right, so you would turn your zipper around. So whatever you want to do. All right, and then... This piece that is two and a half by 14 that you just fold it in half and you pressed, that's going to be part of the zipper and part of the top of your bag, okay? So it's going to go on the folded edge is going to go on your zipper, all right? Now you can... Place this wherever you want. Go ahead and open your zipper because we're not cutting it off. It makes it a little bit easier. And you can use a um, zipper foot on your sewing machine if you want to. And I'm just going to pin one of those in place. That pin is too fat. <laughs> too fat. And I'm just going to place this so the folded edge is just as close to the zipper teeth as I can get it, okay? All the way down, um, I use clips, binder, or not binder clips, but Okay, so all the way down. Just clip that on. Just tug it, snug it up there right next to the zippers, zipper teeth. Now I have a really small foot on my sewing machine. It's like a quarter inch foot and that works well enough for me. But if you want to use a zipper foot, you're welcome to. I don't have a zipper foot for this, so I can't show you that. All right, so I'm going to start up here on the top and I'm going to start my stitch here. I'm going to remember to turn that back to two. And go ahead and just sew right along, right along there. So with my zipper foot, that's going to put me, you know, about, or with my regular foot, that's going to put me about a quarter of an inch away from that. And, you know, that works for me. It, it looks okay. In fact, I can show you what it looks like on the bag. I don't know if you can see it or not. It looks fine. And the fabric doesn't get stuck in the teeth. Okay. So we're just going to sew that on there. Keep it up there nice and close. Welcome back, Gwenny. Also put coordinating um, thread in my sewing machine so I'm I got pink on the top and white on the bottom 
just because I wanted to use up this bobbin. Now I just kind of hold that zipper, keep pushing that zipper towards that seam, that folded edge of my fabric. Hold it on there. And just take your time. Because you want it, this is going to be on the, where, you know, you can see it. So you want your line straight if you can. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to back up once, go forward and cut. Okay, so that's that one. So that's the top there. And there's the line. And see it opens up. See how it see you're not gonna get that fabric caught in the zipper, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so On the bottom one, go ahead and close your zipper back up so you can line everything up. Okay, so on the piece that was 4 by 14, this part that opens up, that's the part that's going to be attached to your bag. So the part that has the fold is the part that is going to go on your zipper, okay? So put that on there, line it up with your other one. And I'm just going to line this on the left and then I'll take a pin, just temporary. So I know where my lineup is. Now I can open my zipper up. Okay, now I'll go ahead and use the binder clips. And you want that, tuck that fold up real close to that zipper teeth. Just use these clips all the way down. Katie, that's kind of a thing that's been going around. What does pay the rent mean? That means to hit the thumbs up, the like button, button below the video. Give, give the, give me a thumbs up. That's what that means. If you're gonna be here, at least give a thumbs up. <laughs> that's what they're trying to tell you. Okay. all the way down there we go okay now I'm gonna start up here and do the same thing just sew right along my zipper teeth <clears throat> I'll take the first one off there All right, let me get this started and then I'll look and see if there's any questions. Back stitch there, go forward. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Gwenny. She said, yes, we need to pay our dues. Don't get a movie in the theater as cheap as this. And this is much more entertaining. Thumbs up. Thanks, Gwenny. <laughs> um, let me look real quick and see if there's any questions. Hi, Zach. How are you doing? Hi, Teresa. Okay. You can watch. Yep, that's the good thing about the replay. Uh, 
Okay. I don't see any questions. <laughs> I'm I'm on in room three and on her cell. <laughs> Um, Sheila, once you've gotten your, um, sandwich done, quilted, then I cut mine down to, um, 14 by 20. Trim it down. Yep, 14 by 20. Thank you, Kelly. I'm doing good, Zach. Okay. Oh, thank. Is that good, Laura? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I'm just my foot is really close to the teeth. My uh, fabric is butted right up there, as close as I can get it. And I'm kind of using the teeth as a guide, you know, to keep my line straight. I should have sewed this up yesterday, I guess. But, you know, I wanted to show you guys too. So. Oops, don't lay that pin there. Oh, thank you, Beverly. Okay, now I'm just going to back stitch a little bit right there. And there we are. And now you've sewed your fabric onto your zipper. See, that was easy. Oops, I just got that thread stuck in the zipper. That's not good. I'm just using a vinyl zipper, too. I bought a whole bunch of them off of Amazon. They're really cheap. A little too cheap, <laughs> actually. Okay, so we can just set that aside for a second. Now, the piece that is 2 by 14 that you... Um, pressed so you have no raw edge that is going to go on your vinyl so grab my vinyl and I don't have my piece of vinyl totally squared up yet but all right so what I do is um, that vinyl has got to go on the inside. Okay, so I butt it up right at that fold. Got a piece of hair here. Okay. And I'm going to use my finger to push the vinyl and my right hand to push the fabric down on there. And then I'm going to take some a clip and put it on there. Hold it in place. Then I'm just going to go along the whole top of my piece of vinyl and make sure that's nice and snug on the top of the vinyl. Hi, Nita. How are you doing? And then just do that all the way down. So um, my vinyl is about nine and a quarter by 14 so nine and a quarter by 14 and then that way it lays usually just right underneath the zipper after everything is sewn together so 
cut your vinyl down to nine and a quarter by 14. I know that's not easy to do either because vinyl is so hard to see. <laughs> okay, so now because we have fabric on both sides of this vinyl, we do not, you know, you don't have to change your foot or do anything special. Okay, bye, Kim. Get some rest. Love ya. Sounds good, Dorlin. See if I have any questions. That's a good idea, Katie. Yep. Yeah, that's Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Tiffany. I can't remember who came up with that saying, but I think it was Melissa. Okay, here we go. So now I'm just going to so a quarter of an inch on this side i'm going to follow this line do my quarter of an inch so it'll be end up in about the middle probably thereabouts so make sure that vinyl stays snug in there You might have to roll this up a little bit, but don't fold it. <laughs> I'm just kind of take it easy, nice and slow. I kind of go slow this part. I get a nice straight uh, stitch. Make sure your vinyl stays tucked up in there. So I'm kind of pushing on my vinyl and pushing on my fabric. I don't have my chair quite right. I do appreciate the thumbs up, but you know, <laughs> YouTube uh, figures thumbs up and thumbs down is the same thing. They don't differentiate between the two. Okay, there we go. So, go ahead and trim your threads if you'd like. So that's nicely sewed on there it looks pretty good not completely straight but that's okay i don't mind it's on there <laughs> i don't think it's going anywhere okay grab a drink of water Now, what you're going to do, we'll go ahead and set this aside for a second. And let's grab our project bag. And your um, inside fabric should be facing up. Trim some threads there. Okay, you can leave your um, zipper open. It's actually easier to do the bottom first. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, let's do the bottom piece first. It's actually easier. Okay, so your zipper 
I'll close it for a second. So the zip part is in my left hand. Lay it on there. Bring your, fold your bag up like so. And you can go ahead and open your zipper back up. So the zipper is going to the right. And I'm going to open up my fold here. Okay. And then my bag is going to go right in the edge of that fold. Line it up on the outside here. And you can either, might want to pin this. Nice big fat pin. Okay, so all you're going to have to open that up all the way along the edge as you go. And uh, make sure it's tucked up in there nice and tight. Yeah, the, those. if I had the longer clips, it would work, but I'm going to have to pin it. Okay, so make that nice and tight in there. How are you guys doing? Any questions? Pin that along there. All the way to the end. Okay. So, you see that's um, your fabric's on the inside too there and the outside now I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch away from that folded piece all the way down so it'll be over on this side polka.chair.com, what's that? Yeah, um, be sure, if you guys are in the Facebook group here, let me, I do have the bot on, it should be on. i uh, love to see your project when you get them done. There's the Facebook group. And... Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. So if you're not in the group already, there's the Facebook group. I would love to see your project bags when you get done. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start sewing a quarter of an inch away. And my foot is a quarter of an inch on either side. So it doesn't matter if I'm on the right side or the left side, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so here we go. Hold it nice and snug there. Take the pins out as you go because those pins were really big. I'm going to have to move you for a second. Okay, you guys got to be sure and stay with me because I'm going to give away this bag when I get done. 
but you have to be in the live chat to win, so. Okay. There's that one. You really like it, Patty? Well, I can't wait to see it. Tiffany lives in Arizona, Southern Arizona. Um, you'll have to ask Donna about that, Dora Lynn. Uh, if Donna is still listening, Dora Lynn is asking a question about the Bargello. Okay, so now it's sewn on the bottom. Okay, now we're going to sew the top piece to the top of the bag. Okay. So your raw edges, this piece should have just all raw edges and the top of the bag here has raw edges. And we're just going to line that up. Now, what I usually do is close my zipper and make sure, close your zipper, okay? That way you know your zipper is nice, everything's lined up. See, and that got off a little bit, but that's okay if they don't, like, this doesn't line up. Dang it, but that's all right because it'll be caught in the binding. So a little bit is okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go along the top here. Yeah, that's way too hot, Tiffany. <laughs> that's too hot to even go out in the pool. Uh, Amy says, if you want your Bargello queen size, use two jelly rolls. Okay, all the way down. Clip that. Hi, Shirley says, uh, sorry if I missed it, or if you haven't said yet, when you are sewing on your vinyl, what stitch length did I use? I used um, two, two on my brother's. Um, and that's pretty close. It's like 15 stitches per inch, which is what I normally do um, with my quilting projects. Okay, so, so far, this is what you have. Okay. Now, go ahead and do your quarter of an inch all the way down. That's not bad, Teresa. <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. That means a lot coming from you, Miss Queen of the Bag Makers. And I actually don't need to be two when you're just kind of doing a stay stitch here. Uh, I'm going to move it up to three. Because I'm, you're going to do binding, binding also. making sure I'm staying lined up. There we go. Okay, so that one's on there. So now you should have this much done. Okay. Tiffany said she used four rolls for a big Bargello. Okay, now the next thing, um, move your zipper into the middle of the bag <laughs> okay right there and hold that down where the zipper opens hold that down kind of try to keep it pressed together there okay hold it down because you're gonna go a quarter of an inch across your zipper and when you get to the teeth of your zipper you're going to go really slow, 
with your needle going across that. And because this is a vinyl zipper, you shouldn't have any problem sewing through that. Okay, so I'm just going to try and bring that zipper up just a little closer so I can. And I'm going to clip on either side. Just trying to hold that in place. There, now I can move my zipper back down. So, quarter of an inch. I'll hold that bag together there. Basically, you're just going to secure that zipper down. Okay. And I'll hold your zipper together with your right hand and your left hand as you're pushing your <laughs> pushing the bag through the feed dogs. Really slow across the zipper. And then I just go backwards one time. Because you still got to put your binding on so you don't have to get too carried away. Okay, so that's nice and secure. And go ahead and do the other side also. So just make sure your bag stays together. That's all I'm doing there. Everything's nice and flat. There we go. Again, you're just going to go slow over the zipper. And then back stitch nice and slow. There we go. All right. Well, that's going to be a big project bag, Vicki, if you use um, your vinyl is one yard by 60. Okay, I'm going to get my other scissors. No, I guess not. I don't know where I did with them. Well, these are orange handled. that will work. Okay, I'm going to cut the... Now that we have that sewed down, I'm going to go ahead and cut the zipper off. I'm just going to fix that there, too. Okay, so you can just throw this piece away. Beep. And go ahead and cut the other side off also. All right, there we go. Um, the vinyl is going to be cut down to nine and a quarter, or you could do nine inch, but I like nine and a quarter usually lines it up right before the zipper. So it's not covering the zipper, it's just right below the zipper. So mine is cut at nine and a quarter, sorry Kay, by um, 14. But if you don't care if that covers up your zipper, then do nine and a half by 14. Or you can do 10 by 14, if that doesn't matter. If you want a bigger piece of vinyl on your bag, but I like mine to be just right under the zipper. Okay, so now we're going to sew everything. Now, the other thing you want to do is reach your hand in here and make sure you have, you know, no tucks because you're going to be sewing a whole bunch of layers okay and then you want to press this down really good this edge bottom of your bag press it down really good nice hot iron and it'll be an opportunity to get up <laughs> come 
How are we doing on time? Okay, 3.30, wow. And here I thought I would be able to get two bags done. <laughs> no. Okay, nice and hot. Make that really sharp. Really press down on your iron. Get that just as flat as you can get it. Okay, so I'm just going to let that cool off for a second. Nope, that's okay, Kay. I appreciate your help. Okay, 9.30. I'm going to take a little break. You guys get caught up, and then we will do put the vinyl on and um, our binding. Okay? I'll be right back. The girls' room is calling. Okay, I'm back. Um, Donna, are you still out there? <laughs> How you doing, babe? Yeah, I agree, Gwenny. It does take more time. That is true. <laughs> Yep, she's there. Okay, I wanted to let you know, Donna, that I found a box <laughs> that fits those pan pantos. Because um, I didn't want to smash them and I didn't want to fold them and they're all rolled up and some of them are pretty long. So the box that I'm going to mail it out tomorrow looks like this. So you may think that you're getting a Acer computer, <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> okay, um, so I'll mail that out to you tomorrow. Okay, Donna. <laughs> All right. Now, remember those um, five pieces that you cut? You either cut five pieces that were two and a half by 18 or four. I think four would work out okay also. But if you're doing two and a half by 14, you're definitely going to need five pieces for your binding, okay? So, if you watched my binding <laughs> um, video, you know how to do binding. <laughs> now, that actually, that box was um, my husband's new computer from last year, <laughs> and I saved the box. Go figure, just in case I had to send it back or something. So I was glad I found that box because um, those pantos fit in there really good. <laughs> I was going to, I wasn't going to tell you about that, Donna. I thought I'd just uh, surprise you, but there's also an extra little something in there for you. <laughs> so um, uh, I'll let that be a surprise. I have a hard time with surprises like not telling people <laughs> what they're getting but I, i'm going to try and keep my mouth shut so okay so get your binding all sewn together like you normally do uh two and a half by 18 and i did the um at an angle 
sewed all those together and of course I pressed everything. Now, if you want to, and I don't do this, like you could kind of try to do a basting stitch, but I don't do that. Okay, so we're gonna set, first off, we're gonna set this vinyl on here and get some more, you're gonna need more than five clips. And start at the bottom, make sure it's lined up with your bottom of your bag. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a clip on there, hold it down. And it's nice and even on the sides, looks okay. Clip that down, I'm gonna get some more clips. They're right behind you, would you pass those to me? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Ella. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to clip that. Go ahead and clip down a couple of along the side there. Not too many because you're going to put your binding on there too. So, And what I usually do is keep the bag on down on the table. If you pick it up, it kind of um, changes the angle. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do, Terry. I got a surprise for you. You're going to be so excited. Yeah, I'm terrible around Christmas. I can't. I think because of my dad. He used to always ruin Christmas. We, which was fine with me, but by Christmas time, sometimes we didn't have anything to open because he was too excited. He, he was a big kid. He liked playing with us with our toys I guess okay so you got a few clips around on there now um, what I do because the vinyl is on top here and I'm not you know you got to have something to sew on not just vinyl normally I start my binding on the bottom of a project but because my vinyl is down here, I'm going to start on the top. So take your binding, raw edge along the top, and I'm just going to come in about four inches from the outside, and that's where I'm going to start. So I'll just put a clip there. Well, I'm not going to start sewing there. I'm going to start sewing about... Oh two inches from the out from that corner from the right corner okay but I put one up here just to hold it okay so I'm going to go ahead um, and stitch my binding on the top of my project okay Oh, handles. Yeah, if you want to do a handle, now's the time to do it. Um, actually, it would have been bef it would have been good to do it under the top of this zipper piece, but you can still put one on. Um, and I think I cut those six by eight. And let me find one of my bags that has a handle. Thank you, Kay, for. Okay, here's one that has a handle. So what I did was um, put that handle on the back side. So you would do your binding along the top first, then put the handle on the back side and stitch it down. And I... Oh, yeah, it looks like a, 
probably four by eight and then you fold it over and press it just like we did these other pieces and then you fold the raw edges into the middle and then fold that down and iron it and then um, so the seam down the open part sew that down and then it tucks this is before I sewed the binding down I figured out where to put it in the middle and then I just did a couple of stay stitches right there and then I my binding went down okay I hope that makes sense so if you want the handle that's kind of how you do it but um, maybe the next time I make a bag I will show you how to do the one with the handle <clears throat> Can I use, can you use your phone, Dorlin? Oh, talking to Dorlin. Hi, Yvonne, how you doing? Cool, she said she watched last night. That's awesome. Welcome back, Tiffany. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get sewing. I'm about two inches. How are you doing, Donna? <laughs> are you keeping up or? Of course, you can always watch the replay. Yvonne says, interesting project bag. I haven't seen one like this before. Yeah, I like the um, vinyl pocket. So I can put my um, patterns in there and then be able to see what's inside without opening the bag itself. Okay, Donna. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. And you're basically going to just do it like you would a quilt. Um, you just want to make sure, you know, and be aware that you have that vinyl. And that vinyl is kind of slippery. Okay. I'm going to turn my thread down to 2.5 and we'll get started. So I'm about <clears throat> two and a half inches from away from the corner there. I'm going to go forward and then back stitch. Now I know typically um, you would do your binding on the back and then flip it forward to the front side and then um, sew along the front but because there's vinyl on the front um, you can't really do it that way so that's why I am sewing it to the front and then I'll flip it around to the back and I'm still gonna uh, machine stitch it down and not hand hand bind it, but you can hand bind it if you want to. Okay, I stop a quarter of an inch away from the corner and then I'll make my corners. And um, I did a video the other day on how to do this, so I'm not going to redo that because we'll be here all day if I did. I need to clip. Okay, I'm just gonna clip that. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I sneak up on that zipper. You got a lot of layers here. So now go really slow over that vinyl or that vinyl zipper. Go nice and slow. Take it easy. Get past that and then you're good to go. Okay, here we go. Now 
we're going to go, we're getting into the vinyl area. Which you just want to make sure that it's this, uh-oh, my needle just fell out. I don't know how it did that. Huh. Well, I hope I didn't break anything. And I was being so careful, too. I better put a new needle in. Huh, I must have, I think it must have just loosened up, fell out. That's weird. Oh, I hope I didn't mess anything up there. Okay, new needle time, just in case. Dang. Okay, I need a screwdriver. Boy, that hasn't happened to me in a long time. <clears throat> okay, let's see if that got that fixed. Well, it went through there. That's good. Must have it in right. <laughs> Get a piece of thread or piece of fabric here. Test it out. I hope I put that needle in right. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I did. Yep, I did. Yay. Okay. Let's try again. <clears throat> That's so smoky. I need to get that air conditioner out of that door over there because smoke's coming through it. Hi, Barbara. Oh, lucky you. Cutting squares on her, your Acu, Acu, quit, cut. Acu cut. I'm just going to kind of buzz through all these comments and look for my name, see if anybody's asked a question. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Tammy. Monday is a holiday. No mail. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. It'll go out on Tuesday. Yeah, once my husband got used to his new computer, you know, you say you can't teach a old dog new tricks, but you can if you're patient. <laughs> it took him a while to like the computer. Uh, went to the Facebook group, but my computer does not have a camera. Now what do I do? Ooh. Yeah, that's what Kay. That's why Kay was asking you if you could use your phone. No, I'm not using a walking foot. I'm just using the regular foot on my sewing machine. And um, 
this is just a straight stitch machine and the foot that's on here um, the needle is in the center and in on either side is a quarter of an inch so it doesn't matter which side I sew on I have a, gui a quarter inch guide oh can I reverse I don't think so Teresa I don't think I can reverse the fan <laughs> that's right Marla she said those uh, sewing room gremlins come in and they mess up the your sewing room and mess with the needle and all that stuff hi Lona hi Shauna Yep, it's a project bag. Okay, looks like I got everybody. All right, back at it. Here we go again. Wish me luck. You want might want to use a 1914 size needle on this project because you are going through quite a few... Um, layers but uh, I found that if I just go a little bit slower off of those really thick layers there that I'm usually okay now I can speed up a little bit okay so now I'm just want to make sure all of this stays Stays where I want it. Especially that vinyl. You know how slippery that stuff is. Okay, now I'm going to sneak up to this corner. Cut that off. Thank you. Thank you, Lana. Or Lana. <laughs> Sorry. Do my corner. a little finicky you know just kind of take your time make sure your vinyl stays on there everything stays lined up so you know this is the part where if you don't have the vinyl you know just forget about all the vinyl pieces and go ahead and sew, sew your binding on. Okay, make sure my vinyl was where it was supposed to be. Make my corner again. Oh, Diane, you're going to start doing a channel? 
awesome. Um, are you keeping the, the same name as you're showing right now? Shift happens. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, everything looks lined up. Here we go. I've been uh, subscribed to your channel for a long time, Di um, Diane. <laughs> I haven't seen a video out of you in a while, though. I do have the, the bot on. Hi, Joyce. Let's see. I think... Um, Kay is in here. Let's look. And I think... I'm not sure if I have Donna in here yet or not. There's Kay's channel. Yep, I do have Donna's channel in there. There's Donna's channel. So I'll have to add Diane. And I'm pretty sure I have Tiffany. But I can't remember if I did Tiffany or Tiff. Let's see. And I'm sure Becca's in here. Yep, there's Tiffany's channel, and there's Becca's channel, so. There you go. So I think, um, yeah, I like your name. <laughs> That's cute, Diane. Um, I don't have Diane's channel in my thing, in the bot, so needs to let me know. Well, you're welcome to do, you're welcome, Kay, and you're welcome to put those in there anytime you want during the chat. Any of the moderators. Um, it's just not, not just me, so. Okay, I'm getting ready to go over this zipper again. Wish me luck. Um, I'm going to go really slow. Okay, did okay that time. Um, coming up to another corner. I don't always remember to give you guys shout outs. Oh, and I think Kathy's is in there too. If not, I need to add it. Does somebody want to try putting Kathy's in there? Kathy? If it doesn't pop up, then I'll add it later, and then next time it'll... Okay, I'm back to the top of the bag. Yeah, I'm not sure, Kathy. That's what we're checking. Yep, there's Kathy's channel. I put quite a few in there in the bot, so... I just can't remember all the ones I put in there. Okay, so I'm back to the top of the bag. And I'm just going to go about uh, two and a half inches or so. Two and a half, three inches. And then back stitch Because i got to join these together. Yeah, i got way plenty enough. Wow, Donna. Wow. 
Wow, awesome. You're done already? And I've been waiting on you. See how you are? <laughs> okay. It's not that hard, is it, Donna? So I can take all those off. And now, and I showed you guys how to do this before too. Uh, where is my ruler? All right. So my bind, I gotta move my zipper. My binding is two and a half, so I wanna go two and a half. Mark my, what'd you do with my pen? Oh, put it way over there. That should be about right. Or I can flip this around like that. It's kind of easier to do it that way. That was pretty close. Okay. Donna said, mine measures finished 9 by 14. I don't know what I did. I think I finished only due to my needle issue. How did yours only end up 9 by 14? Huh. Yeah, because mine is 11 by 14. So I don't know what you did. <laughs> I don't know what you did. <laughs> I wasn't there. Okay, so binding. Open this side up. See, I got... I need more room. Darn it. I'm going to have to pick that. I'll go look at it in a minute. Okay, that gave me a little more room. Okay, so open that up, lay it out flat, and then this one opens up and goes towards me. Put it on top of the one on the left. And I like to pin this so it doesn't get all wonky. And I probably put too many pins in it, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, really? Donna said, this is my first zipper in life. And now I'm glad I tried it. You made it easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You're very welcome. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure how you ended up with 9 by 14. Mark my line. Just a little bit. I don't need much. that 
make sure it's right. Yep, looks right enough. So I can cut that off. I'm glad you guys are visiting with each other because I cannot catch up, uh, stay caught up with the chat. <laughs> Ow. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to finger press this open, the seam in there. Okay. Make sure it stays lined up. Kind of finger press that down. Now I can finish sewing that across. doesn't matter really if you clip these corners on the top but you definitely want to clip the corners on the bottom because those are way thick now okay so you're going to just flip this over and uh, I just pull this up as tight as I can I'm not going to use the iron to press it because I have the vinyl on the front and then I'm just right above my stitch mark and I'm just going to go around here and there a little bit, kind of hold it in place and you just stitch all the way around like you normally do. Um, cut a little bit of that corner off on the bottom of the bag. Yeah, that'll work. Not much, just a little. Okay. And then just stitch it all around. Now you could go ahead and do this by hand. Your binding, you know, to the back if you want to. But, you know me, I don't do hand binding. <laughs> But I am going to press that out with my hand. Just try to get it out there as much as I can. All the way around. Finger press that. Well, I'm glad you like the bag, but yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, we should do, um, I know you're really busy, but we could do like a Zoom just one-on-one -on -one if you wanted to. And make next time you want to make some more bags, you just do it together. Because I have two more cut out. One is Christmas, and the other one is kind of like this. So if you want to, we can just do them together. Okay, just go around the whole thing and finger press that and then go ahead and sew all the way around okie dokie that's all you got to do and I'll do that off camera cuz you know you know you can figure that out right so what did you guys think oh okay Awesome, Donna. Yeah, I have two. So, definitely can do it together. It, so, Di Diane's channel is... It's my name. You always see it. And I added Shift Happens. 
Um, did anybody put your... Here. I'll put it in for you. Go to Channel. Go to About. Click on the Channel Link. Then click on Copy Link. Then go back to this. Put it in. Here is Diane's channel. There you go. So, yeah, go bombard Diane with some channel love. <laughs> okay, we can do it later tonight after I take a like a, a break. Maybe we could do it together and then um, watch Tiffany at the same time. Okay, so don't leave yet. So I'm going to finish doing this all the way around. Here's how it looks. Isn't that cute? Oh, <laughs> you can't see. Oh, it's so cute. Right? And you have your vinyl pocket to put your pattern in or whatever and you did a zipper and I'm so proud of you now you could put a zipper pull on there or a little piece of ribbon or something and there you go you got your inside and if you were really uh, you know you could customize this you could put another pocket in here if you wanted to um, you know whatever so, I'm going to give this bag away. Of course, I will finish doing the binding before I mill it out. It'll go out Tuesday. All right? And if you would like to have this bag, I am going to write... Don't start yet. How many people we got? We have 125 people watching. Wow. That might be a record. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. All right. I'm going to write a number down. And I just wrote it down and I circled it. And the first person to guess what number I wrote down. And it's a number between. Um, I'll make it a little bit easier on you. In between. 30 and 100, okay? A number between 30 and 100, okay? Do, do, do. Let me see. And I have my um, phone set on live chat, so the first person I see... Ooh, you were close, Teresa. So close, okay. Oh, so close. Some of you are just so close. A number between 30 and 100. Tammy! Tammy, you got it. 76. So let me double check, make sure it wasn't somebody else first. But okay, you guys can stop putting numbers in now. Tammy in the crafting disaster, um, number 76. So let me double check. Some of you uh, were really close, like Kathleen at 78 <laughs> and 77. Oh, she was so close, Kathleen was. Thank you, Gwenny. Uh, 77. Yeah, I don't. And Teresa had 72. She was really close. Yep, yeah, it looks like Tammy got it. Okay, congratulations, Tammy. Awesome. Wow, you guys have been putting all kinds of numbers in. Okay, you can quit now. No more numbers. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, Tammy, here's what you do. 
um, in the description box, description box below this video. <laughs> Tiffany was brushing her teeth. <laughs> well, Tiffany, if you want one, honey, I'll send you one. You know that. Um, is my email address. Send me an email with your address, and I'll get this mailed out to you on Tuesday. Okay? Um, I just hope, oh, I should have said, you're not out of U the United States, are you? Because we might have to do something different, like I should have said something about that. Oh, good. No, Arizona. Okay. Because um, I, I will do something else. If, if that ever happens and you live in Canada or somewhere else, we'll have to do like a gift certificate somewhere, okay? Um, because you know, shipping costs. I know. So, Pat, so if anybody, Pat, that um, ever wins, um, we'll have to come up with something else, like, like I said, a gift certificate to somewhere, maybe your local quilt shop, I can call them and give you a gift certificate or something like that, because I want you guys to be able to win too, so. Anyway, congratulations, Tammy. That is awesome. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I hope you'll be able to use it. I use it for cross-stitch. I'm sure you can figure out something to use it with for. Definitely. Awesome. Okay. You guys have any questions? You would, Glenny? Well, that's sweet. Well, that's another thing. I guess I could say that it's your option if you're in another country, if you want to pay the shipping or, you know, part of the shipping. Um, that's an option. Oh, that is the truth. Okay. We do all have our moments. <laughs> I don't want to pick on blonde people, so... I have been blonde before, but I had to use a bottle of dye to get there. <laughs> it actually turned out really red. Really red. <laughs> and I did it myself, so then I had to go to the beauty salon and have them fix it. <laughs> and I had a short little bob. It was blonde, and it was, uh, you know, a wedge cut. <laughs> and I was in my... 30s, but then I used to have hair down to my crack. <laughs> I liked it when my hair was really long, but it gives me a headache now. Awesome, Patty. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> You're pretty close to blonde, though, aren't you, Diane? Kind of reddish blonde. The game is over. Can somebody put in the chat? Okay, Nancy, the game is over, hon. Tammy already won. Oh, Tammy, she's blonde. My sister's blonde, too. Except for she's kind of dirty blonde hair, but um, she... Oh, thanks, Tiffany. So she used a little bit of lightener on hers to lighten it up a little bit. But when her and I... Both had blonde hair when I dyed my hair blonde. Um, we looked so much alike that people would get us mixed up. We both worked in the same place and people would get us mixed up. And um, she, she would be walking, you know, to the restroom or wherever. And people would say hi to her and she wouldn't, you know, she, she didn't act like she knew them, you know. And people just thought that I was being rude. <laughs> it was her. <laughs> that was so funny. That was one reason why I cut my hair was because we both had really long hair. and uh, But they got us mixed up all the time. And my hair has never been that long again. So that's kind of a bummer. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I don't see... Um, I've thought about doing a dark purple or a light purple or something but i think my husband would freak right 
Mary, the it's a over, hun. I you might be behind in the uh, chat. Do purple. I know purple's my favorite color too. So I mean, just a little, little bit of purple right there. <laughs> okay. I don't see any questions. Okay, Tammy, remember my email is in the description box. Um, you also can get a hold of me through Facebook. Um, so, but yeah, I need your address. And then I can mail this out on Tuesday. Awesome. Oh, great, Kathleen. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yvonne said she covered her gray with purple at her grandson's wedding. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you, Beverly. I had a great time, too. Your hair is light enough you could get a tinge of purple. Yeah, my hair is actually really gray. I know you can't. Well, maybe you can, but it has really... Uh, Got a lot of gray in it. <laughs> you can really see it when the sun shines on it. Okay. See you all soon too, Kathleen. <laughs> That's funny, Terry. I used to have uh, blonde streaks at the back of my neck. I called it my mean streak. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, Brenda said you could buy a small purple clip on and test the hubby. I like that idea. Next time I go to town, which I'm going next Thursday, I could go to the dollar store and see if they have those clip-on hair things. That's a great idea. <laughs> Diane said her husband says no purple hair. Ooh, chicken soup sounds good. See you later, Amy. Yeah, I'm getting off of here. Oh, yeah, right. He probably wouldn't notice. If I got it, like, real super light, so there was a big contrast, he might notice. But if it's really dark purple, he probably wouldn't notice. He doesn't even notice when I, you know, trim my hair. <laughs> so... What is the decal on my machine? Uh, this one is says use your stash. And I got it from uh, So Becca in her shop. And then I have a little tomato right here. And that just came out of a sticker book. Um, it's a sewing machine. So I don't I don't know if Becca still has those or not. Okay, I'll see you over on Tiffany's. So we have Tiffany's Quilting Life. Let me put that in the chat. She comes on at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, so if you're not subscribed already, <laughs> go check her out. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to her. And um, oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. Terry said, I painted our living room once, and my ex husband didn't notice for three days. <laughs> Teresa, what days do you do your lives? Um, I do Sunday at two o'clock Pacific Standard Time normally. Sometimes I come on at one instead, kind of depends on the day but um, two o'clock and then the rest of the time I just pop on now and then I don't really schedule anything but I I try really hard to be here on Sunday unless I'm not feeling good and then I'll try to let you know that I won't be here okay Patty I'll see you then thank you Pat for coming I really appreciate it
<laughs> okay, Kathleen, sounds good. Bye, Marla. Bye, Kathleen. Thank you, June, for being here. I really appreciate it. Oh, Maxine is there? Awesome. How I'll ask you now or later um, how Alexa is doing on her trip. Has she made it where she... Where was she going? Tennessee. Okay, JB, thanks for popping in. Bye, Heather. Bye, Katie. Good to see you. I'm glad you stopped in. Bye, Sylvia. Bye, Laura. I painted one of the guest rooms purple. Then Paul was out of town. He repainted it. <laughs> My husband painted the bathroom downstairs. A couple of the walls in the cupboards green. I did not like it. I mean, I like green. Don't get me wrong. But I don't like the green he picked. <laughs> I would love to repaint it. Bye, Tamala. Good to see you. Thank you, Ella. Good to see you. Oh, 1.20 in the morning. <laughs> You're so sweet to be here. Okay, thanks for joining me today on the project bag. I hope you guys had a great time. I know I sure did. And um, I hope you enjoy making this project bag as much as I do because they're a lot of fun, super easy. And once you get going on them, um, you know, they go really fast. And they're pretty darn handy. <laughs> and also, it's another great gift idea. And we need those, right? So, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Thank you, everybody.